Welcome back to another YouTube video. So as promised, I thought I would give you frequent updates on what's happening with the house. At the moment, nothing exciting is happening. It's still all the dirty renovation parts. Um, so we've been stripping. You know, I said to my husband, come on, let's go and strip. He's like, yeah, come on. So yeah, he's like, and that's not the kind of stripping that I had in mind. Um, so yeah, we've been busy stripping. The wallpaper has been a little bitch to get off because there's like four layers on every wall. So we've finished Alfie's bedroom, Josie's bedroom. We've finished the main living room. So we've still got the stairs to finish. We started on that and that is proving to be really time consuming. So we'll get there in the end. We're in no major rush. That's the good thing. Um, I've started stripping the paint on one of the corbels. So I'll show you that in a second. But for now, let me show you around and just show you the work we've done so far. So this is my little tea station. I bought a really cheap kettle from Amazon. And we've also got a fridge, which a friend lent us, which has got water and Prosecco in so far. So not much has changed in the kitchen. As you go through the hallway into this is the dining room, we started stripping some of the wallpaper off. The gas fires have been removed in here, but that's a back boiler. So we need to get the back boiler removed, it needs draining. So the um, plumber is going to do that when it comes to fit the boiler. I'll take you through here first. So as you can see, we had the damp specialists in and they injected some damp proof into the walls here and here because we had rising damp which showed up on the survey so then they've put some special plaster over that to seal it we've stripped the chimney breast so we removed the gas fire and then we took the hearth off which was tiles and then we just decided to remove the plaster because it was a mess underneath so we thought we would remove it and this is what we're left with and it's beautiful i love this archway I don't think we're going to keep it like that because I do want to have a proper fireplace on there, but it is tempting because I do love the archway. Um, so here are the panels that I'm going to strip off later just to try and take them back to the wood and get rid of all those years and years worth of paint. Then I'll take you through to the hallway. Um, so as you can see, we started stripping wallpaper on here. And look, it's got like, this is the first layer. And then there's this underneath, which has got like a plastic backing on. Then it takes you to this. And then this is the final one, which is a nightmare to get off. And then it's got this green paint on as well. So we've still got this wall to do, but we have done all the way up there. So we're not doing too bad. I will take you up and show you upstairs. Look at all this. So much mess. Started on here, here and here. We need to get up to these bits somehow. So I think we're going to invest in a new ladder to be able to get up there. And then through to the bathroom. The only thing that's changed is this. Because I pulled this cover off. I wanted to see what was behind because I knew it was going to be a chimney breast. So it's quite exciting, but at the same time, it's very badly damaged. So I'm not quite sure whether we're going to be able to rescue that or not. But I would quite like to have an exposed chimney breast in the bathroom. So we shall see. Everything else is still the same at the moment. So I'll take you through to the bedrooms. So Jersey's bedroom is completely stripped. And we came across loads of damp up here. You see? Huge damp patches. But apparently that's to do with the insulation in the loft not being right. So it's causing loads of condensation to build up there. So what the damp specialist said is that now that we've removed the paper, it'll start to dry out. And obviously we're having the loft converted, so they'll be sorting the insulation out. So fingers crossed that'll be fine. And then through into... Alfie's bedroom, and again, all the paper has been stripped off in here. The radiators need replacing, and behind each one is some lovely panelling. So I'm thinking about putting the radiators in a different place once they get relocated, uh, once they get replaced. And next door neighbours are moving out. We've got, we're going to have new neighbours soon, which is exciting. Hopefully they're nice. Try and have a little peek later to see who it is. <laughs> um, and I think that's about it when it comes 
to work that we've done so far. Nothing's changed in here, still exactly the same. One of the kids has left their hoodies and some pretzels. <laughs> right, let me go downstairs and show you the corbels. So this is how the corbels looked. So they're just caked in paint, There's so much paint on them from over the years. So this side is the one that I've put the peel away on. And as you can see, it's taken it right back to the plaster. There is still a few areas that I need to put a little bit more on that have not come up yet. Like under here, look, that's like a flower detail. There's still a little bit more paint that I need to get off. So I'm gonna put some more uh, peel away on there and see the, how that comes up. And then obviously I'll do the other corbel and I'm also going to do the shutters in the lounge. I'll go finish brewing my tea first. So first of all, I'm just going to wipe all this down. Because it's got really dusty from when we were um, putting the damp proof in the walls. So that'll do for now. And then I've got to wear a mask and gloves and also eye shields so i'll just show you how i'm going to apply it So that's the first part done. So basically what you do is you just basically scrape it on, really good covering, and then you put the peel away paper over the top and you leave it for up to 72 hours. I think this will be quite well because there's quite two layers of paper on here. Good morning. So it's now Saturday. It's absolutely throwing it down. It's such a miserable wet rainy day. So what better than a day of DIY? <laughs> so I'm going to pop to Sainsbury's now and I'm going to get a few bits to have a nice bacon sandwich. And then I'm going to head around to the house and I'm going to have a look at the peel away, see if that's ready to come off now and see what that's looking like underneath. And I'm also going to continue a stripping wallpaper on the stairwell so i'm going to take some stuff around there i'm going to take some fresh milk so i can have a cup of tea later um and yeah just get stuck in and just take my time with it so i've just got to the house had a lovely bacon sandwich and i've brought some essentials around so i've got my robert's radio this is like my new favorite um, gadget at the minute and i just think it's nice to have some music on in the background isn't it so i've brought that around so i'm going to try and find a spot that's not too dusty because I don't want to get it spoiled. Um, I've got some tape measure, some snacks, all essential snacks for later, and a couple of bottles of water. I'm going to pop those in the fridge. Also some milk because the milk that I had yesterday my tea was off. So yeah, some fresh milk. And essential they'll keep me going a little sh sugar energy boost um and also a little, some wine these little bottles of wine are so handy this is a little rosé look at that how pretty is that bottle i've not tried it yet but it looks nice and pale i really like a pale rosé and also a pinot so these are just in case i am still here at like six o'clock tonight and i fancy a little glass of wine to keep me going don't worry, I'm not having it at lunchtime. Or maybe I will, depending on how the wallpaper comes off today. Um, and then I've just got some glasses and some mugs around. So also, I've got some white wine vinegar. And that is for um, this lead um, testing swabs that I bought from Amazon. 
So they used to test for lead paint, which is obviously very dangerous to you. And what you have to do is dip them in white wine vinegar, rub them on the wall. So I'm gonna do a bit of that as well because I've got loads of paint that I want to strip off. Um, all on like the skirtings and the dado rails and things like that. I'm gonna get a heat gun to do that. And I've just got these just to be on the safe side. So I'll show you how the peel away is looking this morning. Here's Chesty. Oh, I need to bring your bed round, don't I? Bless him. He's a little bit still out of sorts here. He needs a little bed to sleep on, don't you? During the day, went for a walk this morning, so he's a bit wet and smelly. Um, but yeah, we need to get you a bed round here, don't we? Because there's no one in at home, so I thought we'd bring him round here rather than letting him be at home all on his own. You like company, don't you? You do, don't you? <laughs> right, so there's the peel away up there. I think I might take that off actually today, but I'm going to leave the one in here on for longer. But look at the state of it. It's kind of gone dark in places. You can see behind there. I think it needs a little bit longer to be honest. And then what I'm going to do is get a paint gun, a paint gun, a heat gun, I think, to work on these because the peel away, it's like £50 for a tub of this size. So I think it's great for intricate work, like on the corbels up here. But I think on big areas like the door frames, the architraves, the skirting boards, I'm going to get the heat gun on that and try and get as much paint off as I can just because I want to take them back to the original wood because I think over the years they've got that much thick paint on them. You can't even see a lot of the details. So I think if we strip them back as much as possible, sand them all down and start over, I think it'll really um, just bring them back to life. So my first job this morning is going to be back up here stripping because this is turning out to be really, really painful. This is actually the only wall in the house which is looking in really bad condition, look. So all this is just loose, loose plaster. You see on there, it's all just crumbling away. So I'm gonna continue stripping. It's been a pain to get off on here. It's just done in so many different layers. Um, and you know, I thought this was just paint, but actually it's not this paper under there as well. So I'm gonna continue doing this today. And then I've managed to get a big bag just down there. Look, look at Chester. Um, so I'm going to clean all the wallpaper up at some point as well. But I think there's no point cleaning that up when I'm going to make more mess. So look down there. It's not great, is it? I think the best thing to do is probably to just take that back to the brick. all this is just crumbling away so it all needs to come off. You can hear it. So it's coming off really well. It's actually coming off easier than what the wallpaper came off. Can you believe that? I spent four hours stripping this wallpaper yesterday, which was so difficult to get off. And actually just taking this plaster down is easier. Let me show you how I'm getting on. So as you can see, I've done all that there. And then it's just coming off so easily, look. I mean, it's just, you can see how loose it was. Um, so this literally just pulls off. Whew. So 
I'm gonna have a little tea break now because oh, it's a little bit dusty in here. So I'm gonna go and open a window, make myself a cup of tea and just have a little five minute rest. <laughs> Look at the state of me. <laughs> I kind of feel as though getting somewhere though. I'm glad in a way that I've just decided to take that wall down because I think it's gonna be so much better in the long run because that plaster was in no good condition whatsoever. So actually, I think it's going to be fairly simple to put some plaster boards up there and then just get the top skimmed. Now, whether I do that myself or whether I look into getting someone to do that is a different story. I would quite like to do it myself, um, but it depends how much it's going to be because if I can get a quote and it's not too expensive, then part of me thinks, okay, let's just get someone in to do it. But at the same time, if it's going to be a lot of money, then I think right, I'll just have a go myself. Me and Justin can tackle it together. Um, I think putting the plaster boards up probably wouldn't be too hard, but I've never done any plastering before, so I'd have to have a little practice with that. Um, but I think everything's worth having a go, isn't it? I think there's so many, you know, YouTube um, tutorials and things like that. So I'm just washing a mug so that I can go and make myself a cup of tea. I brought the biggest mug that I could find from home. <laughs> that was the nicest cup of tea. I <laughs> enjoyed every mouthful. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go take the big dumper bag um, upstairs that I've got and try and get rid of a lot of plaster from the floor because I need to get the step ladders out to be able to remove the plaster from the tops of the walls. But I can't put those step ladders there at the minute because there's so much rubble there. So I need to try and clear most of that um, and then I can start doing the tops and then get it all finished. I'm so pleased with how it's coming along so far. much rubble in the rubble sack as possible but the problem is I don't want it to get too heavy because then my husband's not gonna be able to lift it downstairs but it really doesn't look like I've made an impact on this at all because there's still absolutely loads of it to go in let me show you so all this down here so much but yeah I don't put any more in that because it's definitely gonna be too heavy to move but that's how much I've done today anyway. So really happy with that. Um, I would have liked to have finished off this top bit as well, just get all the really dusty bit out of the way, but I just can't get there because, I can't get the step ladders up because of all this uh, rubble here, the broken plaster. So I'm gonna have to move all that probably tomorrow when my husband's around. Um, and then finish that top bit off. And then we can maybe look at getting some plasterboards and plasterboarding over it. But we've got a long way to go yet. Look at all this mess. So I've just done the lead test swab. And basically you dip it in the white wine vinegar and then you wait for it to turn brown and you rub it on the paint for 30 seconds and see if it changes colour. And here's the little colour detector. So if it turns pink or purple, it looks like there's lead. But here, look, it's just it stayed the same colour, so that's good. It doesn't look like there's any lead there, which is good. So we can keep testing as we go. Okay, so the next job I've decided is I'm going to remove this. This is the second lot of feed away that I've put on this corbel. Um, the first lot took a lot of the paint off, and I'm hoping that this second lot is going to remove most of it. So let me show you. Out. See the big blob of paint that's just come off there.
the corbel look to start with, like this, very thick paint on. And then, here's how this one is looking. So if you look closely, you can see you've so much more detail. It's like a little rose in there. It still needs lots of work doing. It needs like a, a brush to kind of brush it up and also a little sand. And then I'll probably repaint it, but at least you'll be able to see all of the detail on it. So I'm really pleased with that. So I've got some tools ready and I'm gonna have a look what this is like under here because it looks like it's going really brown. So I think that must be a good sign. So I'm going to have a look what it's like under here. stopped it says five to one all the time at the minute I need to go get a new battery put in it what time is it half past wallpaper <laughs> half past wallpaper <laughs> i think wallpapering is like kind of driving him around the twist at the minute can you tell sunday quarter to two we were stuck in the tip for the queue for ages i am um, so we finally got around to the house We've decided to order some extra protection because although the masks that we were using are these ones, it says six layers of protection, but having seen the state of me yesterday, there was just dust everywhere. And when I got home, my throat was really dry. Um, so we decided to order some proper respiratory, respiratory masks, which should be arriving today. Um, before we crack on with upstairs and move all that rubble because it is so so dusty. So today we've decided to just carry on stripping the wallpaper um, downstairs in the hallway until the new gear arrives. <laughs> I've been sat at my desk all morning and it's now at three o'clock so I've come round to the house because my husband spent all day yesterday clearing the rubble up from upstairs because we've got a skip outside so all the rubble's gone now so I can get the ladders and I can get closer to the wall to finish taking down the plaster at the top and I want to do it today um, because I want to get all the dirty kind of bits out of the way because I think once that's down all the dust and everything will be gone then and we can get rid of it all outside and we can start doing things tomorrow that are a little bit cleaner just because you end up getting so filthy and I know that tomorrow afternoon I've got plans so I'm only going to be able to pop into the house tomorrow morning so I've got my respiratory mask um, which has been brilliant so far I've used it when I've been taking the paint off the panelling in the living room and when I've got it on I can't smell it at all and then as soon as I take it off you realise how strong the smell is so it's great to have the windows open and just really good ventilation so yeah so that's the plan for this afternoon i've also picked up this shower cap <laughs> because i'm so fed up with my hair feeling like a bird's nest and it feels just so dry with all the dust so i've got this to protect it so i'm sorry if i look a state but needs nest <laughs> just it needs to do because the ladders don't quite reach up there so yeah all the mess has gone I've given it a really good sweep up but as you can see look at the dust everything's just covered in thick dust we're so lucky 
that we're not actually living here at the moment. So we've got a plasterer coming tomorrow because what I'll do now is put some plasterboards along here and then just skim that wall. And then we need to continue taking the wallpaper off along here and all the way around here. And then we've got the wallpaper to take off in the spare room. Look at the dust on the windows, they look filthy. But look at the sunlight. The sun is gorgeous on the front of the house at this time of day, look at that. It's just lovely. So I'm gonna call it a day now, it's seven o'clock. I'm gonna go pour myself a glass of wine and we're gonna have fish and chips for tea. I'm also gonna have a bath of course because I'm absolutely filthy.